Just barely. Just barely. Yeah, I can hear you now. You're good. All right. Uh, it's gonna make me respawn here again. I don't want to respawn here anymore. It keeps making me respawn in the middle of this. It keeps making me respawn in the middle of the city. And I just want to run away. Go back to my camp. All right. Yeah, I see you're like way down on the map. You're at the Eastern Regional Penitentiary. You're at the prison. I'm uncovered, so I can't fast travel. I need to figure out what I can drop. I can level up, too. Server not responding. Oh. Oh, yeah, this game's awesome. Disconnected from server. This is the worst night I've had with this game. I've played all these other nights and I've had no trouble. So I think I'm gonna not play this anymore tonight. Yeah. I think I'm gonna eat some leftover yeah. pizza. I went over to my sister's for a little bit, but that was like at noon. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm, I think I'm gonna eat a little leftover pizza and then uh, maybe watch TV or something. So I think I'm gonna be done playing my games tonight. But I was excited that my uh, CPU cooler shipped already. I was expecting it to take longer. So it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. So, and I, the only thing I haven't decided yet is do I. I guess I should really. If Socket. Our, if our Sockets are going to handle the Ryzen 2s next year, then I really ought to just take my 1700 that I've got now and drop it in this machine, probably. And I probably shouldn't. Yeah, I probably shouldn't spend any money on a new one. So I'll just, like, get all the rest of the components, you know, perfect. And then when. Ryzen 2 comes out, then I'll get another processor to drop in it, and then it'll be a beast. Well, supposedly, supposedly this thing is supposed to have some automated overclocking features or something that you can just push a couple buttons and it will go through and test all the different components. It'll like overclock it, try it, overclock it, try it. So I, I might try that and see, even if I can just get a little mild overclock on it, then I, I'd be happy with that, you know? Because the whole machine, I'm... I'm going from DDR3 to DDR4, because I think, don't I have DDR3 in my machine now? Maybe I don't, maybe I have DDR4, yeah, DDR4, but it's slower. Yeah, right, yep. So, I... 32. So I got 32, and then I ordered uh, the M.2, the Pro, um, the Samsung, the, the Pro one, so that's got guaranteed read and write rates that are faster than the one I had plus then this beast of a video card 
that I've got, which is awesome. So I think all of those things combined together should be a really nice machine. be nice because I mean I got the since I went ahead and got the the cooler that has the bigger radiator and three fans on it and they, this thing uses the Noctua fans so like super high end really nice really high quality quiet fans so they're not RGB of course but I think I'm okay with that on the radiator I think I can live without RGB on the radiator and just go just have those nice Noctua fans it comes with but I need to get some intake fans for this case because it, <laughs> you know, it doesn't have any. Because won't the won't the radiator be blowing out? Because what, when I was I was looking at some of the reviews online for this case, and people had tried out different configurations, they said that putting the fans on the bottom, just just fans, just intake fans, putting the fans on the bottom and sucking the air in through the bottom seemed to give the best cooling. So if I were going to do that, yeah, on the bottom too, I can put three 120s on the bottom. So what I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the I'll put the radiator on the same side as the motherboard. It's got the giant radiator area for that, and then I'll put three intake fans on the bottom. I'll make those Corsair the really nice LL RGBs. <coughs> um, so I'll get three really nice intake RGBs there, and then I still have the top open. Like, there's still no fans in the top at that point, so I could even, if I wanted to, throw an exhaust fan or something up there if I wanted. Yeah. If I wasn't getting the cooling that I want. So, because the, if, if the radiator, if the radiator, if the air is pushing through the radiator, it's going to push over into that, like you said, into the, to the section where the cable management and the power supply are. But there are vents on that side, so it's actually going to blow straight out of vent, straight out of the case. So, so it should be perfect. Basically, it blows through that area, and there's a like an equal 360 millimeter opening on the back that it goes through. That it goes through. This motherboard looks so nice in this case. I bet. Because it's you know the black, the nice black case, which is kick ass, and then this crazy motherboard which is all just black and silver and it's just it's a black and silver motherboard in a black and silver case right yep yeah that was that was that was way cool i mean on the back this thing just looks like this thing looks nuts on the back because it's got 
preset switches and yeah, crazy amounts of USB ports. Plus, mine's got the wireless built in there too. So I've got the I've got the wireless antenna connections there. It's just got every kind of connector in the world back there. <laughs> and this case has got a USB-C connector up front. So yeah, so it has a USB-C connector and then two USB 3.1 ports on the front. So that's pretty nice. And then it's got the power button. And there's... No. Nope. They're just tinted a little bit. They're, they're tinted, but only lightly tinted. So I, I don't... There's really no trouble seeing through. <laughs> and then the... Right. Right. Yeah, it's just li lightly. Yeah, it's just lightly tinted, and um, uh, they're not discolored at all. Like some of the other manufacturers have, like a gray or whatever color to them. These are just this. This just has a tint on it, so it's you know just a, a darker tint, like a car window. So it uh, it looks really nice. Um, and then you know when it's all lit up inside, it's going to look amazing, of course. But uh, I ordered the um, uh, the cable kit that I ordered is blood red and black, so it's like this super deep, almost like a leaning toward a maroon red um, and black instead of just a regular bright red. Can Miller influence you on that red decision? No, why? <laughs> <laughs> is that something? Is that something he would have done? Date Rover the Pet Solutions logo is so like dull and dreary. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, no, this this is a an awesome looking, just a, a blood, just a wicked looking blood red. Apparently, it was a new color for them, yeah. and it just looks amazing. So I went ahead and ordered the full cable kit for it, um, and uh, so it'll be on its way. Power supply should be here Saturday. Um, and the cable kit actually should be here Saturday too. Yep, 1200 watt, man. You can run two. Yep. I know. I figured if I get that, that thing has like a 10 year warranty on it. So I figured if I if I get that power supply, then I'll never have to buy another power supply until like technology completely changes. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Well, I think the one. That so you one is. I have the exact same one that you have in your machine right now, the 650 right. uh, thermal tech. That's got yeah. five or seven years. Right. Right. Yeah, yep. Yeah, this thing is a 1200 watt platinum. It has it has a, a USB port on the back of it for monitoring. Yeah, you plug it into a USB <laughs> yeah, monitor and you use Corsair Link. Uh, you download the Corsair Link software that will uh, let you see everything on it. Like when I had the Corsair liquid cooler, I had Corsair Link um, installed, and if I had one of the those power supplies, you would it would have been all in that software suite, which is different than like the uh, than like motherboard headset and mouse software. Like they need to tie that all together into one app, but you don't need to worry right. about that because you don't right. have those components like I do. But I do. right. Well, I just, you know, I'm, I've got Aura Sync for the, the RAM will work with Aura Sync, yep. um, because the G, the G Skill RAM is set up to work with Aura Sync, so that'll work. The motherboard obviously has Aura Sync for its colors on it. The video card is Aura Sync for the color, and the cooler will be Aura Sync on the block. In addition to having that cool little OLED screen that I can put like animated logos and stuff on, or use it to display my temperatures. And all that stuff right on the right on the core, which is pretty fucking sweet. Um, so all that's Aura Sync, and I figured with fans, I'm pretty much the best option is to go with Corsair for my intake and and out and outlet fans. So um, anything that's not Aura Sync uh, and ROG is going to be Corsair. So I figure that way, I just work with two you know, two manufacturers for my controls. So and of course that makes me want to get a Corsair keyboard, and of course it makes me want to get like a Corsair mouse. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you still got <coughs> for that stuff, but um, 
But I'm gonna take that Logitech mouse into work and use it. I don't know how those um the those expensive Corsair ML RGBs, whatever they are, I don't know I don't know what they use. Um I mean I know actually they use IQ, which is the software that I use for my keyboard, mouse and headset. Uh so <coughs> they must have a controller that you plug in through USB also. So I was thinking that I would get the my my cooler mask. Are there <clears throat> The fuck was that? Unless there are Aura Sync, unless there are fans that work with Aura Sync. If there are fans that work with Aura Sync, then I want those. Uh my cooler master ones do because they are just um the way that they work is they have a fan header and then they have an RGB header, which is just fifty fifty RGB. So you just would right. like so you, whatever splitters like you would want to to plug it into whatever lit whatever <laughs> you whatever. have going on. And I think you have like two two fifty fifty RGB headers plus like one or two addressable ones on that motherboard. Which you, mine's got one. Yeah, I know there are two addressable ones. ones. Yeah, the addressable I know there are two addressable ones. ones. Yeah, the addressable are different than like the standard ones, um, uh, but I know I know for a fact that my I fans know. like they just come off to a 50/50 header. Like you could plug them into sure. like you could plug um any 50/50 uh, strip controller to control them, which would which okay. is like the motherboard header does. Basically, um, uh, uh, those are the only RGB fans that I personally have experience with, because... I'm going to have to look around on the forums and stuff a little bit to see which ones are best to use with the Aura Sync setup, because, because I think all I want is three intake fans for the bottom, because the, and the power supply is going to exhaust, the radiator fans are going to exhaust, so I think all I really want right now is just three intakes for the bottom. Maybe even just one or two intakes for the bottom. Well, I'd put three just so it doesn't look awkward. Yeah. Cause then, and then there's actually room on top to put three on the top as well. So I could, if I needed to, put three intakes on the bottom and three outlets on the top. And then it would just be like a wind tunnel going through the... I could yeah, I spin know. them all down to the slowest yeah, speed possible. Because yeah. yeah, it would push air straight across the motherboard. Straight off the top. Yeah, and then you'd have the three fans on the radiator. Um, I'm trying to think if you have <coughs> if six fans going out and three in. That's out. is that negative? Yeah, that's negative case pressure. Or is it positive? Positive is when you have more air going in than coming out. And negative air pressure is what causes like tons of dust. To be dust. Like right. So what I was thinking though is. If I were spinning the fans on the radiator slow and I were spinning the outlet fans slow, then the power supply fan may not even spin at all half the time. Oh, dude, that's and then I just that's ran the... That's not going to run. And then if I just ran the... I don't know if you ever turned the... That if I ran the intake fans... I don't know if I have it on or not. Yeah, it's a little switch on the back. I didn't have it on for a while, and then I've... Finally, like, I saw what it was, and I did it, and, like, dude, it barely ever kicks the fan on. Even when I'm gaming, even when I'm gaming, for, like, five seconds. Like, <laughs> so I turned on, I turned on, uh, World of Warships just because it's one of the games I had installed on, you know, on my desktop. So, <laughs> so I turned it on, and I turned up the settings to max everything, like, every, de every detail and everything that it had. Turned it all the way up, and um, uh, it just it it's so smooth. It's it's just stupid. It's it's just dumb. I mean, it's it's so smooth. Yeah, welcome, welcome to my, my PC world. <laughs> I know, because I know yours has been like that for a long time, because you've spent a lot more time fine tuning yours, and I just sort of just you know put it all together and let it go. But now that I see uh, how this is going to be, it's going to be pretty amazing when I get it done. It's going to look sweet, too. That's I really want it to look kick-ass.
That's why I kind of went with the... Because ROG is kind of like red, black, and silver anyway, you know? So that's why I kind of went with the the blood red um, and black cables. Because I kind of wanted them to... You know, I want to do the whole thing in red, black, and silver inside whenever you know, I can. So... It should look cool. Yeah. Anyway, all right, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna heat up some pizza. I think. All right, dude. I'll talk to you later.